this is my finished product. All these are is I'm just putting little holes about oh, every foot, foot and a half in there which will attach to the 2x4s. Once again, it's just to help keep these from splitting. And uh, I also have 2x6s I want to do. And I'm going to try to pre-drill those, but I have to do those with a hand drill because I'm not sure exactly where all the 2x4s are located uh, to attach to the greenhouse. So, uh, just a little project I'm doing. I thought I'd share it with you. Well, it's also time to check on the girls here. Let's see how they're doing. <laughs> And I find it amazing how they can mess up their water, but pretty easy to clean. And uh, so I'll probably have to change their water out tomorrow if they're good for today. And we could use some food. Huh, girls? More food. Well, we got them all fed and watered. Let's check the egg count. And we got one in there, one in there. And remember, each one of those have a ceramic egg. And let's see how we're doing on the other side. Oh, there's one there. So yeah, I'm getting about four to five a day. Pretty happy about that. And I see I exposed some of my hay to the weather. I think I'm going to throw some of that in the chicken pen to uh, have them churn it up a little bit before it goes to waste. That's the beast right there, huh? Yep. Looks like it looks like it weighs a lot. Yeah, I think it's like 350 pounds. So the crew we have here uh, seem to know what they're doing. They're uh, just making sure the walls finding out where all the studs are and stuff like that. So they're out there checking the studs, looking at the scenario to make sure everything goes well. So, uh, and they're being very polite about protecting the, gar uh, the carpet and everything like that, even though this carpet is going to get replaced. But so anyway, so far so good. And of course we have problems already. So our mortar on this plate here is coming out right here, all along there, which all fell out right there. So we're going to see if they have another one in stock. Uh, we'll see. Well, of course, I have to go right to uh, Redmond, Oregon to pick up a new uh, pad for the pellet stove. Uh, I have two strangers in my house putting the rest in. It's kind of irritating, but in Central Oregon, if you don't hustle, nothing ever gets done. So I chose to go ahead and pick up the new pad. I'm on my way back. And uh, I'll have them unload it and look at the seat. We'll see how far along we got. Hey, you got the holes in already? Yeah. Wow. Well, I got the pad delivered. They're putting it in. I'll take a look in the outside and see what it looks like. So, that's what it looks like. So, there's our new, uh, our new stove. They're getting it all finished up here. Looks really good. So there you go, guys. This is a Harman uh, pellet stove. Uh, I can't fire it up right now because uh, some of uh, the sealant uh, is still curing. So in about, I don't know, later on tonight, we can fire this up and take a look at it. Um, so... Uh, other than the fact I had to go get a new pad really quick, everything went really good. I'm really happy to have this. 
if we had power down I got a generator and I could easily run a cord to it to heat this house because it this time of year it's in the nighttime it's usually 15 20 degrees this house would get cold really fast so I hope you enjoyed the video a lot of a little bit of everything in this video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it sharing our videos and, and subscribing really helps us so we appreciate it so guys talk to you later bye now our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks